Hello and thanks for tuning in to Me and My Golf TV. You've joined us on the second tee here at the Asprey. Beautiful par five, dog leg left of the hill. And Andy, it's the Impact Show. It is the Impact Show. And today we're going to be talking about the slice and we're going to speed up and close that club face. Let's take charge of your game. Right then, it's time for the Impact Show. This is where we answer questions on your golf swing to help create more impact in your game. Yes, make sure you get involved. Go to the Facebook, Twitter, and the Instagram today and post your questions on this week's topic. We'll, we may be answering your question. Maybe, maybe. So it's Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. I enjoyed the golf. Last week, we had a really good week. Yes. Um, sorry, we're going to talk about it a little bit. We actually did some filming with uh, Rick Shields and Pete Finch, the guys up in Manchester. Really good. We did some, a match, actually. Yeah, a, we a, a grudge three match. Matches, three grudge matches over three open championship golf courses. So Royal Liverpool, Royal Birkdale and Royal Lytham St Anne's. And we can't obviously tell you the results, but make sure you look out for those videos. Really good content. Yes, Ooh. definitely. Some good golf actually played as well. There Under was, yeah. some extreme... Extreme wind. Apocalyptic <laughs> conditions. I had <laughs> yeah. to think about that one. The wind on the one, we reckon 50 mile per hour wind. So it was really, really tough. Yeah. Also did quite a bit of coaching as well through um, YouTube clients as well. So that's why we're sort of mentioning this as well now. So thank you so much. We've had people travel um, the length of the country from YouTube. So guys, obviously we do coach. So if you are interested, we get a lot of questions about this. Info at meandmygolf.com and you'll be able to get an email to us and we can obviously help you out hopefully. Yeah, it'd be good to see you in, in person. person. Be very good. Okay, so today's topic was all about driving. Um, and we had so many questions, loads and loads of questions. Very difficult again. Thank you again so much for all of those. But the winner, I suppose, or the question we've picked is on actually on Instagram, which is actually going really strong for us at the moment. They call me Vinny. So I'm assuming this is Vinny. Um, and here's a question. I was told my body is turning faster than my arms and hands, causing me to slice. So any drills to help speed up my arms and hands. When I try to swing faster, it gets really ugly, really ugly. So we hear this uh, a lot. We see this a lot, don't we? We do, people, yeah. You know, they can't quite sync their <laughs> arms up. I say sync, they can't get the timing right of yeah. their arms to their, to, to their body. They can often slice the golf ball. Yeah, that's, uh, that downswing sequence, like we said there, like, it sounds like Vinny from the top of his golf swing, especially when he wants to put the power on, he's using that body too much, possibly the upper body as well, um, to sort of unwind as opposed to getting that downswing sequence, starting with the lower body with a shift and then letting the arms sort of fall and drop and then squaring that face up. So it sounds like he's got the over the top swing fault, um, but by just rotating a little bit too hard from the top of the golf swing. So I think the one thing to think of Vinny is that the hands and the arms are always rotating around the body. We hear some people say that they open the face and they, 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 they stop it turning. They don't stop it turning, you delay the turning. But in your case, what we're saying is if your body is spinning a lot, then maybe you're delaying and slowing down how fast your hands and arms Definitely, turn. Yeah. It is interesting because we actually had a couple of other questions about people saying, that their hands and arms were traveling too fast and that was causing them to slice. Now, we wanted to mention this because generally we don't see that. So if you are, there's probably another reason for you slicing the golf ball. If your hands and arms are traveling too fast, generally that doesn't cause you to slice. It actually helps to stop the slice. It actually it helps, helps square the, the face up. Because the whole drill we're gonna give Vinny here is all about, well, let's get the arms, as we, as we said, speed it up and creating that. So um, as you said, Andy, it often happens when the body sort of maybe over -rot uh, rotates too fast hands and arms don't catch up almost. Yeah, definitely. So from the top of the golf swing, it sounds like what Vinny's doing from the top here, he's unwinding by rotating that upper body and lower body. Club is coming above the swing plane and then from here now, it's very hard to get that club back to square as opposed to, like we said, Pit the Pierce from the top of the golf swing, starting with that lower body where it drives towards the target and you can see the difference in the swing plane here and then just timing that downswing sequence where we go through the chain correctly, if, if you like. So that's what we're after but maybe what we need to do is feed something that you need. So we need to feed some more speed into these arms and actually probably slow down Definitely. the upper body. Now the drill we're about to give you is something that I gave to one of my students as a drill. Six months later, he didn't call me for six months. Six months later, he, he came back having won several competitions, reduced his handicap by four shots and was still doing the drill and actually did the drill on the golf course. <laughs> yes. So this is, it may work for you doing this. So Andy, let's go through it, shall okay, we? Okay, so we, could, we basically it's a feet together drill. So what we're gonna do here, this is gonna sort of restrict the body from turning. We're gonna do a few swings where we feel that the arms are just doing more of the motion here. So this is gonna restrict the turning of the body. We're gonna make a back swing, but then we're gonna swing down and we're really gonna focus on allowing the arms 
but also you can see here Pierce, as I'm swinging through I'm really allowing that club to close this is the key thing if we've got that slice we want to get the energy into the golf club and allowing the club face to close here but you can see here from the lower body and the upper body that my it's not rotating anywhere near as much is it so this will give you a very different feeling it'll challenge your balance but it'll force you to get some speed and some rotation into that club head it's, it's a way of transferring that energy into the hands and the arms and the club head faster because as you said you know you're stabilizing the body so just Definitely. take a shot for me let's just see let you know how this feels so how far are you going to hit this goal uh, this is going to be probably about around about sort of 100 yards i'd say okay. if that but i'm just going to put the emphasis like you say feet together feeling the arms feeling the closing of the face amazing isn't it when we say hit it 100 yards you went a little bit further than that but I'm just too nice strong, that's what it is. Didn't it? I had a nice little draw. And the one thing that maybe, you, I mean, I'll ask you this as well, the path of the club then, was there any yeah. chance of that coming over the top? It's hard to sort of, from the top of the swing, when those, when those feet are together, it's hard to sort of undo this because you're going you're gonna to lose balance. So it really just allows you to get the arms to sort of drop on a better path and then close that face as well. So you get two for one with this. This drill allows you to get the path better so you won't come over the top and actually you can close the face a lot faster. Definitely. So, as I said, one of my clients was doing that on the golf course, full shots doing it. And I've had a few people do it as well, where they've actually stood on the 18th hole needing a good score, and they've just hit one, they've maybe hit a couple of slices when the pressure was getting on. And it really does help close that face. It does, yeah. And you can do that with an iron as well. You know, start, maybe start with an iron, then progress to the woods. But, you know, I mean, the good thing about doing this, if you ask somebody who slices it, might, you know, when you do it, let's see if you can get the ball turning over to the left. So work on closing it too much with the feet together, then take it to the, take that same feeling to the normal stance and hopefully you'll sort of meet in the middle there. Brilliant, so key things then to finish, we want to narrow the stance, which allows the hands and arms to go faster, and then when you're hitting shots, as Andy just said there, try and play a draw. Definitely. Okay guys, hope you liked that video there. Make sure you work at that if you are somebody who spins out too early and gets the upper body working, it's gonna help you close that face and stop that slice. Please comment below if you've got any questions and hit that like button if you did like the video. So hit the like button as well if you like our new outfit. Yes. Well, very nice. A bit grey, a bit dull maybe for us. But okay, also guys, if it's the first time you've seen us, uh, we do lots of videos. So we, these videos are all for free. So hit the subscribe button down there and we'll get to see the many videos that we put up. Also, if you haven't seen meandmygolf.com, go to the website now. Seven day free trial. Also, let us know how you're getting on with that. And guys, we'll see you Thanks tomorrow. For watching. Yes, what is it tomorrow? Ch uh, Challenge Tuesday's Challenge back. Tuesday is Challenge back. Tuesday's back. Make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.